Hey guys, how's it going? We look awful, but don't mind us because we're finally getting to work after how many days? A full week of rain. Yes. Decides not to rain in California for like three years. And yes. now all of a sudden it rains for a week straight when we need that time. And we found out we have a very leaky roof. <laughs> very leaky roof. Yeah. Not, not in the house, but out in the garage. Yeah. Which you guys would like to see. We've organized. If you guys have seen our past videos. Kind of. No, it's... It's organized. It looks good. <laughs> it looks good. But you guys, we have some awesome stuff we've been working on and we wanted yeah. to share with you. So let's flip the camera around. Besides breakfast, what are you working on? Well, <laughs> we are doing another western town. Mm-hmm. But this time, miniature. Teeny tiny. Teeny. And mini is actually part of it because yeah. it's a miniature golf course yeah it's gonna be fun we're gonna have <laughs> different scenes we're gonna be setting up a uh, uh, lot of different areas kind of based on the gold rush and uh, people migrating to the Sacramento Western. gold rush. yes yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> California yeah but specifically what do we got going on this morning we got it all set up this is a ticket food yeah well we'll be Will be. We've got to spackle some. Uh, yeah, I've got to fill all these holes. And there's a lot of them. Yeah. Because there's a lot of walls. Yeah. But as you can tell, the scale is already a lot smaller than what we're normally used to. But good for home hunting, for sure. But this ticket booth is similar in size the, uh, to the one that we made for our uh, home haunt years ago. It's not going to have the roof pop out, but it's a little bit different style. But it's kind of similar. Similar. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been busy working on that. And now, this is the top of a saloon. Yeah. And it's very little. <laughs> Definitely not going to be crawling in these windows. <laughs> so we'll just do a video of keeping you guys updated on some stuff. Yeah, that's the back wall to the ticket booth right there. And then we'll kind of maybe do some videos for you guys of you know how everything is made we're gonna see we're on a super tight deadline yeah. this time so we want to try to vlog as much as possible but we are we don't really have that much time so no. uh we're gonna try to get some of the footage we can in fact on the ticket booth uh we will show you kind of a little bit of the footage that we got as we were building that so far all right guys stay tuned it's another fun build yeah. Yeehaw! All right, now I'm making a couple signs for the uh, project. And what I did is I've got this half inch plywood. It's gonna be the face of the sign. And then I'm gonna create a uh, framed out border around it. So for the frame, I just bought a couple two by fours and then ripped them perfectly in half. Then once I cut the two by fours in half, I set my saw to cut a uh, space out. And basically I'm just gonna slide this right over the half inch plywood. So I'll set my saw and remove this interior piece. Once I get the middle all cut out, then what I'll do is I'll go back through and cut all my miters and frame around this piece. I've got to cut this down. It's going to be three by eight. So I've got to cut it down and then I'm going to make another sign out of the one foot section. All right, so I got the grooves all cut. I took a little chisel and kind of pried out all the little shavings and stuff that were left from doing all the passes with the table saw. And then I also cut my miters, and then I did a light sand and got rid of the writing and stuff. I'll have to go back over and do another sand once I get it all on the plywood. So now the next thing is to cut that sheet of plywood over there down to size to fit inside of my frame. Ooh. Ah. So I got the plywood all cut down, and the frame is all cut down. So the next thing is to get some glue in there and pin this all together and then do a light sand uh, around all the corners and the edges and we should be golden. Here is the finished three by eight sign. It's got the frame around it, all glued and shot together. I even filled all the staple holes and gave it a light sand and so it's ready for some paint. Aw oh, yeah. It looks like this on the other side so when we hang it, it can be a double-sided sign. Eight foot by three foot. I even went ahead and banged out the uh, one by three sign here. Three foot six by one foot one and a sixteenth. There's the sign for the ticket booth. 
Here's the front wall, it's a little over five foot. I have my vertical studs at two foot centers for the plywood to attach to. I've added several toggles going down, way more than I need, but we don't know if we're gonna be covering this thing with drywall or plywood or if we're adding shelving. I know we're gonna build a countertop, so I doubled up the studs going under the window here. I've got the back wall with lots of framing. I've got the two side walls that I've split up to make trucking a little easier. Here's the doorway that you enter in. The window opening right here is going to be to give you visibility to the first hole. And then this is the side that'll be facing the 18th hole. So when they come up, they can return the clubs through this window opening. I normally don't add this much framing, but again, we're not really sure exactly what we're going to be doing. so. I went crazy with the framing. To do the little roof peak on this, I just basically framed a triangle and then attached it to the normal square flat below. Now I'm getting ready to skin this thing with my quarter inch lou on. I've got my router with a flush trim bit and I've got my four by eight sheet here covering this. Uh, before I add my one foot sheet, I'll go ahead and go in and cut the majority of this wood out. All right, I got all the flats all skinned with the lou on. I've got all the openings all cut out. I have to go back and add a uh, flat piece of uh, flat stock on the bottom and replace it with the one by three there. But the next step is to take some fence boards and uh, do like a clap siding up on these walls. We bought a bunch of these cedar fence boards and the idea is to put full size pieces going up and then rip a few of them down littler pieces and cover up the seams. You see an example here the way the, the thinner boards are covering up the seams and the other boards and I got a one by three trim here underneath where the countertop will go. Where you can buy your tickets for the 310 to Yuma. I hear it's gonna be a real blast. <laughs> Okay, so before I skin this door with the fence boards, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one by three out that I used to give myself a nice square frame. And I'm just gonna cut it out with a handsaw and then replace it with a uh, piece of flat stock, like a two inch flat stock, eighth inch thick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to cut this out and then go back and route out much like a hinge on a door, just so that that flat stock can rest inside there. I've got the flat stock right here and I've drilled my holes and then I used a countersink so that the uh, flathead screws can rest inside there. So I'm going to paint the other side and this should be ready to go. So I have my framing staples right here so what I did is I just pounded these down with a countersink so that when I go through and route out that eighth inch my router bit doesn't hit those staples. So I did that on both sides. The flat stock is all installed. I've got several longer flathead screws going through, you can see where I added an extra piece of 1x3 to give it a little extra meat to grab onto. Okay. Hi! Hi! I gotta get another nail done. Alright, so this is the very back wall, and I've got it flipped upside down. I went ahead and I added an outside trim piece. And then all these little boards right here are going to be the uh, boards that the through bolts go through the sidewall to connect the two walls together. So the next thing I'm gonna do is get the other sidewall on here and line it all up and drill my holes. Adding this one by three trim here to the edge of this flat will help hide the seams where the two walls go together. It helps kinda camouflage it so no one knows it was two pieces. <laughs> Got the holes all drilled so that the walls can be bolted together. I oversized the hole just slightly over the bolt size. It's quarter inch hardware that I'm using. We normally put our bolts every two feet. We start at the one foot mark, so it'll be like the one foot, three foot, five foot, seven foot type of thing, depending on how tall your wall is. So everything is prepped and we're ready to paint. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a tan on this side and then this is going to be tan too and then the trim pieces are going to be kind of a brown but we're going to start with this color right here mm, isn't that beautiful i'm going to have to go get more paint but we'll start with that since we've got it and everything is looking good it's 
a lot to paint. <laughs> it's been a while. Chris is cleaning metal for our tent. That's another project we have going on. Oh, faster, 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 go, Chris, go. This thing is ridiculous. Whoa. <laughs> you got a can in there, son, or what? <laughs> Here's our new tent. This thing is awesome. I worked in it last night for the first time. It's a two car garage size. I think it's 22 by 24. And it's got some rolling doors. It's got some vents for airflow. This thing is so awesome. It actually stayed pretty warm in here. I did have a heater going, but it's pretty good on its own. So here are the walls that I've been working on. Today I've been rolling them. Now I gotta take my paintbrush and fill in all of those little sides. But this is the back side to the ticket booth. The ticket counter is coming together. I'm almost done with it. I'm so excited. But yeah, look at how much stuff you can fit in here, you guys. This is like the best tent ever. Lots of work to be done now, rain or shine. So better get back to it. Time's a moving. All right, so here is the ticket booth with all the sides on. Gina's finished painting it. Uh, she's still got to go through and age the whole thing. We got to install the countertop, see how that looks. The sign's missing, of course, we're still working on that. We have started the roof pieces. I've got the countertop right here leaning against one of the roof pieces. I've got them split into two sections. We've got one here, one over here. They're getting painted right now. They just mount to the top of the front wall peak there. Now the reason why the roof is so skinny is because this whole thing slides into place under a balcony. Now this is some really horrible footage, but we just basically have installed this on location. And uh, you can see how it fits right underneath the balcony. Uh, the signs are on there, the countertops are on there. And uh, again, it gives you an idea of the way it's gonna look. They were still renovating the area and you know we just have had to drop off all of our scenery so the next time that we're driving through sacramento we'll stop by and get some really good footage and then share a video with you guys see how all of it looks all together for those of you who are looking to build a ticket booth and clicked on this video to check that out we have made other ticket booths in the past one of them being from our home haunt and i'll stick the links below and if you're not subscribed be sure and Hit the subscribe button, uh, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment for us. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. We definitely should have brought your rain boots. <laughs>